Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, are you holding on to things that cause you continual heartbreak? Quite often we don't understand that we're stuck with these things in our head that just keep coming back and they haunt us because they're not allowing us to find the happiness that we really want because we keep hearing this repetitive repeat of stuff that hasn't worked for us in the past. And so what it does is it causes self-doubt. It causes us to keep thinking and rethinking everything we're doing. The problem with this is it doesn't allow you to grow. It doesn't allow you to get out of your own head. When things change in your life and you've had a situation that was very, very hurtful, didn't work out well, sometimes we just can't let go of it. It's just so so much of a rejection to us that we are so afraid to make any move going forward. We don't trust ourselves is the bottom line here. Emotional distress can really take over your life. It can cause so many health problems. I look back to when I was going through my very, very long divorce proceedings. I had so many things I was dealing with health-wise because I wasn't happy, I was going through so much stress and raising a child at the same time. But the problem is I didn't have the cash flow to receive the help I needed with counseling. Thank God today there's so many different platforms that you can look at and, and find out information that are at your fingertips, just online. If you can't afford to see a counselor for something you're going through, at least there's help there. There's videos, there's books, there's so much uh, stuff out there that's free of charge. And I really stress that you do take advantage of this before you get so stuck that you can't get out of this place. Sometimes our emotions are so deep rooted that it holds us literally prisoner. We don't know how to move forward, how to get past this, this feeling of dread all the time. And it's, it's not uncommon for everybody to go through this at least once or twice in their lifetime, but it's how quick, quickly you learn those lessons that you're supposed to learn that you move forward. And unfortunately, some people get stuck for a very long time because they're not doing anything to get themselves out of here. When your heart has been broken and shattered into a million pieces, it's not an overnight fix. Nobody's telling you that you can't have feelings, but it's really good to know what feelings are most prominent. What is sticking out that is keeping you stuck? Is it anger? Is it sadness? Is it rejection? Is it ego? There's all sorts of things that can be playing a part here. And a lot of the times it is the feeling of being rejected that hurts our ego. So you get a couple of double situations happening here because why weren't we good enough? Why did they walk away? Am I not worthy of having love in my life? What is going on here? And rather than just chalk it up as there's something better for me coming, we hold on to what didn't work out. And that's why we're not meeting our special person in the future because we're not ready to let go of the other stuff. You can't meet somebody if you're stuck in a place of regret, sadness, anger, and pain. You have to do the work to try and figure out, okay, what was the message here? What was I supposed to learn? Much of the time when this happens is just because you need to evolve a little bit more. You need to understand who you are as your authentic self. You need to know, okay, who am I without any influence of anybody else around me? And once you figure this out, it's not as hurtful when you have to keep going up the ladder to sort of try and find yourself because you're doing it quicker. You're understanding who you are. It's always good if you've had heartbreak a, a few times to take a break from it, stand back and just go out and do things you wouldn't normally have done. Be a little bit more courage, courageous with what you'd like to try. Get together with some friends and, and do new, new things. Go to different environments that you don't usually hang out at. 
just change up your life a little bit because sometimes when you're not comfortable in your own skin as a person, you put too much emphasis on somebody else to make your life better for you. And that's what happens in a lot of relationships. We rely on somebody else to make us feel whole. And this is why we get stuck because we're not understanding that we need to be whole by ourselves. Anybody else that comes in is a bonus. It's just fabulous. They add, they're an extension to who you are and you can have fun together. And if it doesn't work out, you say, well, you know what? There was a few things missing, but I'm okay with that. I know what I need now. One of the great things about life, it's always a good time to change up what isn't serving you, what isn't working for you. If you're repeating patterns and you're having similar results, sit down, look at what's going on. Make a pros and cons list of what happened. Am I repeating the same type of people that I'm dating? Am I ending up in these same relationships? Why am I choosing this? Get to the root of the problem. What's going on inside of you that is keeping you stuck in this place? If you're always having heartbreak, you're doing something that isn't working. So if it's not working, you have to decide, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to decide what that is. What is making you be this person that keeps going back to the same stuff, getting the same results. You want to be happy. So let's find out what that is. What makes you happy? That's what you need to understand. The first step to changing up your life is owning there's an issue, owning there's something that needs to be changed. And you're list looking at this video, so you already get that. That's a really good thing. And finally, don't hold on to past relationships with regret. Everything that you choose in your life is a pathway to a better place for you. If you hold on to things and say, why did I do that? This is terrible. You're not getting the message. The message is learning quickly what works and what doesn't work so that you know what you want moving forward into a solid, committed, reciprocated partnership. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please subscribe. Please leave any comments under the video, any show topic ideas you have, and please click like. Thank you so much for tuning in today.